वेलकम बैक टू दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू नाउ प्रीवियस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन दैट वाज जस्ट टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स बैक वी डिस्कस्ड वी स्टार्टेड इंजीनियरिंग कर्व्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम कोनिक्स दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ साइक्लॉइडल कर्व्स एंड वी डिस्कस सिंपल साइक्लॉइड इन्फीरियर साइक्लॉइड एंड सुपीरियर साइक्लॉइड दैट इज फॉर साइक्लॉइड्स देन वी डिस्कस्ड एपी साइक्लॉइड एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस्ड द हाइपोसाइक्लॉइड द पॉइंट for an hypocycloid now i hope that in 15 minutes you haven't uh, got a short term memory loss and forgot all that we did in the previous one hour so for an hypocycloid the rolling circle would be inside the directing circle if you remember in epicycloid the point uh, so sorry, sorry the rolling circle was outside the directing circle and the point was on the circle here the difference is that in ap it was inside uh, sorry outside in hypo it is inside the directing circle let's see an animation here we have a green directing circle a blue rolling circle and a red locus which has been traced by the point on the rolling circle and as you can see it is moving again and again and it is rolling inside the directing circle and finally the point which is uh, is tracing the red uh, linear line or say the red curve that is known as an happy uh, sorry not happy hypocycloid that is the correct pronunciation to do, uh, go for that okay now for this also we will assume two things we will assume that we have the diameter of the rolling circle as well as the directing circle in the questions these uh, data will be given there will be some data uh, that will be given for you to uh, understand that this is the particular thing that is happening so diameter of the rolling circle as x and diameter of the directing circle as y now uh, it is uh, now this is same uh, as the epicycloid in epicycloid what it was ro rolling outside uh, the it was rolling outside the uh, directing circle now here in in this it is there it is uh, rotating inside the directing circle inside the directing circle so again the arc that will be covered that is from the point of initiation up to the final point the arc that will be covered will be up to the angle of theta uh, and uh, the theta can be again taken by the formula as x by y into 3600 which uh, is equal to what it which is equal to the angle which is covered by the whole uh, circumference of the circle so let's move let's move on to the first point let's mark point o as the center take radius equal to y and draw what draw the directing circle take radius equal to x and draw what draw the rolling circle now with when o is the center Uh, sorry when uh, when we are taking the radius as uh, when we are taking the radius y and uh, center is again like this as o no so i'm sorry let's move on like this we have taken the center o this is the center of the directing circle and then we are again constructing the arc uh, so the angle the sector on which the circle would be rotating and this is the directing curve the directing circle radius is is equal to op that is is equal to y now the next thing that is going to happen we are going to take the center c and then construct our rolling circle which is of the radius of x so here we are very clear that o is the center for the directing circle and c is the center for the rolling circle this theta depicts x by y that is the diameter uh, sorry x by y the radius is or the diameter uh, ratio of the uh, directing circle and the rolling circle multiply by 3600 that will give us this uh, theta that is this sector this point uh, will initiate from here start rolling in this direction and then finally this point will come and meet uh, the directing circle again at this point which is the final point of the hypocycloid for one uh, roll of this particular rolling circle next dividing the rolling circle into eight parts then again drawing an arc through the center now we will divide the this circle into eight parts and then again through the center c we are going to draw a circ uh, we are going to draw an arc with center as o and radius as oc and divide that again into eight parts as we did previously for epicycloid 
now we have take now we have drawn this line this line is of the radius oc and center as o then i have started uh, dividing this line into a different parts c to c1 c1 to c2 c2 to c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 i like to mention here again that i have taken these big circles or say these big points instead of arcs but in your drawing sheet in your exam or wherever you are drawing the curves by uh, using your instruments you should always mark an arc instead of a point and those arcs should be very lightly marked so that it is only you who is able to make out what is the point of intersection and we are, when you are joining the lines or you are taking the center points uh, on these arcs then please make sure that you have taken a very precise and accurate point on which uh, you from where you are taking the other calculations otherwise a small mistake would prove to be a rather uh, higher version of mistake uh, sorry a higher difference of mistake as the sum or moves on or as you construct the figure further so next step the next step for us is with radius equal to o1 and o as center i'll draw my what i'll draw my i'll draw an arc which is passing through point 1 on the circle then i'll do the same thing with 2 3 up till 8 so something like this with o as center and radius as o1 o to 1 i'll draw a curve which is pass which is this and then o2 i'll use it and pass it like this now you can see that the curve which is passing through 2 is also passing through 6 and the curve which is passing through 1 is also passing through 7 and you already know the curve which is passing through 8 is already drawn which is our directing line and then again o23 or o25 would be same and then we'll draw a say a arc through this then o24 and then we'll draw an arc like this and we always know that the all the points lie, which are lying within these two lines are of business the outside ones are uh, not useful to us so uh you should always draw the lines up till uh, maximum when you are drawing lines outside it don't draw it very dark so that the paper don't get uh, paper doesn't get uh, dirty next step with now we are again i'm going to take cp as the radius that is my radius of the rolling circle then i'll put take different centers as c1 c2 c3 up till c8 and i will mark different arcs and you uh, at the end of that i'll join all these points that i get to what to get my hypocycloid which is there now let's see the point 8 would be there then what will i do is i'll take this as center uh sorry p uh, o c p as my radius c1 as center cut an arc at p1 then c2 as center the radius would be same cut an arc at p2 c3 as center cut an arc at p3 c4 as center cut an arc at p4 again here you can see that it has completed half revolution so it is a kind of normal to the curve that will be produced hence this can be taken as a normal and then a uh, perpendicular can be drawn uh, to depict what to depict the tangent of the circle then radius c uh, radius will be same c to p center c5 to cut an arc at p5 then center c6 to cut an arc at p6 center c7 to cut an arc at p7 and then finally p8 so i have different points that are there on the circle now i need to join them by a straight line now this straight line will give me what will give me my hypocycloid joining the points p2 uh, p p2 p3 p n will give me my hypocycloid which is something like this which is there inside the circle now if i keep on rotating it then it will go on go on and on so it won't be uh, uh, it will become something that we have seen in the animation at the beginning of the construction that we did so this with this we come to the end of cycloids so cycloidal curves contains what cycloidal curves have a uh, cycloid epicycloid and hypocycloid now in each of these three there are subdivisions of simple inferior and superior now if it is a simple then the point is always there on the generating or the rotating circle if it is inferior the point is always there inside the rotating uh, rolling circle 
and if it is superior then the point is always there outside the rolling circle or say the generating circle so this point has to be clear another thing for cycloid simple cycloid we have a straight line which is a directing line and for epicycloid and hypocycloid we have a circle that is the directing circle for epicycloid the rolling circle rolls outside the directing circle and for hypocycloid we have the rolling uh, circle rolling inside the directing circle so these are this is a brief about what we have discussed up till now so let's move ahead now construction of involutes so let us now know okay, what is an involute first so for if you if you want to visualize an involute now uttrayan season is going to come right now diwali is going to come then in jan we are going to have uttrayan so ever when we have uh, we have our kite way 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 out and uh, hindi mein kehna chahiye ki jab patang kat jati hai to hum lapette hain so instead of wounding in this way then if i take my uh, if i take my firki or if i take my uh, what i can say is can and then if i start rotating what will happen is this is my can if i start rotating it in this manner then what happen if i have a long string then i keep on rotating rounding it and my hand will keep on coming closer and closer and closer and finally i won't have anything to rotate that is what it is so this is what an invol involute curve is all about the involute curve is this the curve which has been traced by this point when i'm wounding see this this is this much away then when i am wounding it is coming closer you can visualize it is coming closer 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 to the hand and then finally it comes and meets so this point this point the curve that is traced by this point is my what is my uh, involute which is there let's see the animation which will give you a much better look can you see it's the string length now this is a circular cross section on which the screen uh, this uh, string which is being bound uh, bound now this black thing is the string now it's the length is this much at the start now what happens as it it's getting wound on the circular cross section uh, the, its length is getting decreased 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 and finally it becomes zero and then it reaches starts so this length is again going this way now if this length is equal to what equal to the circumference of the circle then there will be only one rotation which will come here and it will stop here if it is double then there will be two rotations of the involute if there is thrice then it goes on on and on to n number of times uh the more it is there the more revolutions or would be there for the involute and the more would be the distance that would be covered so i hope this concept of involute is clear by this uh, animation that i have used in my uh, here so let's now start constructing a cycloid uh, sorry an involute how we are going to uh, the different steps that are involved in constructing a uh, involute let's see let's draw an involute that uh, that is required now the string is being wound on it that's what we are going to do, uh, draw and the diameter circle we are going to take as d and center we are going to take as c so now what next are we going to do is we are going to take the center as c and then what next we are going to draw the di uh, circle with diameter d okay this is done now next what we are going to do the next thing that we are going to do is from p we are going to draw a horizontal tangent as we did for the other uh, for the cycloidal curves we are going to do the same thing here and then we are going to divide it into eight equal parts and then uh, first the circle and then the line into eight different uh, equal parts let's see now this is pi d this whole distance is pi into d now what i have assumed is that the string length is equal to the circumference hence i have taken this pi d as my string length now what i have divided the circle into eight parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 and as they will appear on your screen so my circle has been divided into eight equal parts now what next the line has to be divided now don't get confused between what we uh, did previously the previously the, there was some kind of a same figure that was there that this is the rolling circle and this is the directing line no this is not the case here this is a circular cross section that we have and this is a string that we uh, 
with the end p and we are going to hold this end p and we are going to wound this string around this cross section so you have to visualize this kind of thing so now for next steps will make it more clear that why actually we have drawn this tangent see this is the initial position of the string when we are going to st just start wounding it again uh, on this circular cross section so that is the initial this is the initial condition that is there that's we have divided this now let's see the next step with we'll draw tangents from all the points that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now what this will going to, this will do is i'll i'll show you okay so now what happens we have drawn tangent from 1 from 2 from 3 from 4 from 5 and finally from 6 and 7 we'll draw the tangents from 8 we already have a tangent so now what is actually happening is if you visualize this point p in my hand and uh, say i'll i'll make you understand by using a wire which is there with me right now uh, i'll just take a sec okay mm. i'll take this and uh, wait a sec i'll just demonstrate it to you that what is actually happening i'll remove my watch so this is a wire that I have okay this is a wire that I have so this is the initial position of it what is it going to happen I'm going to wound it this is the initial position that we have and this is the point P now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wound this around my hand now as you can visualize that this the length is getting decreased and at every point that this uh, this length is, uh, is in contact with my hand it is making a tangent so if I wound this like this I'll show you it this way. I'll, if I wound this like this, what happens? It's it is decreasing, 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 and finally it has gone. So at every point that I draw the tangent, a particular length of the tangent will be decreased. So that's what my uh, objective is to what to make you understand that it is wounding and the length is decreasing. So at every point I draw the tangent, the radius that I'll the radius is uh, radius of, sorry the length of the string is decreasing bit by bit. So that's why we have drawn this tangent on different pa points or say different stages of the string being wound on uh, say what on a circular cross section. So now what I'll do is I'll take the radius. Now here I have the radius of the string. The length of the string is from uh, this point 8 up till this point 8 that is P. Now what I 